Hey, welcome to my living room. I want to turn this place into like a studio space because um, I feel like that is more how I use it. I don't have people over rarely and I have all this space that I'm not really using and I would like to have it be more of like a creative workspace for me. It's gonna take, it's gonna be like a project because I have things ordered that are coming in, whatever. You don't, you don't. <laughs> Welcome to my rearranged living room. So uh, I wanted to have this wall over here be like free and open so that the natural light like floods in and lights the wall so I can have a backdrop there for like photography and stuff. And then also now I have this little like space over here for a work table to kind of like tuck away. So this table I bought from the girl that used to live in this apartment and I've had it, you know, for the whole time. I very rarely use it. I think you guys have seen it in a couple videos. I just don't like to sit at this table and like do work. Doing any kind of project and I have my sewing machine here. Um, like everything I need is behind my sewing machine because there's no space like in this arc. I'm gonna post it on like an online used uh, website, which is okay right now where I live. Um, we're al like almost living with no restrictions because we don't have COVID cases. Um, so I'm being responsible, don't worry. And I then went to Ikea and found this guy in the as-is section, which is like where they have customer returns and stuff marked down. And it's the size I wanted for 25 doulas. So pro tip, with all the students like working from home right now and buying desks, I feel like Ikea has a lot of returns. So check there. They did already um, drill some holes into the corners where they put legs, but also like, why would you put your legs like right in the very corner? That's so weird. But the rest of it looks, oh, there's a little scuff-a-doodle-do. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> So I'm thinking I will just go in a little bit and dodge the holes that they did. I don't know, what is that, like three inches in from each side, like each corner? I feel like that looks right. I can't believe they put it like right on the very edge. Like no wonder they returned it, it probably looked insane. Interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop some felt tabs onto the bottom of the legs and I'm gonna flip it up and then that's done. It's actually like a really nice sized work table. So very excited about how this looks. I think the little like white leg detail is a nice touch. And then I want to work on this guy. This is like a little lamp that I put together from some like studio equipment. And, and this is a curtain rod. Um, and it's been like my makeshift overhead light in here forever because uh, I don't have like a ceiling mounted light. Um, I literally just threw this together with what I had and it just takes up floor space and it's kind of annoying. So I want to wall mount it above my table. So I actually already mounted this little shelf bracket, but there was some shelves on this wall over here that I took down and I reused the braces. So there's one there and there's one holding my ivy plant here. Wow. 
but I want to show you guys, um, I have a very similar solution for hanging backdrops that I want to show you. So this is my solution um, for hanging paper backdrop rolls. So I went and I had these extra shelf brackets again, just the same ones from Ikea that I wall mounted and anchored. This is an eight foot long wooden dowel um, with like a one inch diameter that fits perfectly into the C hook. And I bought two and then some seamless paper rolls, which are just long rolls of colored paper from like a photo supply store. I have um, some 53 inch wide paper rolls and then I also have some like 86 inch long paper rolls. So let's show you guys those now. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh shit. Look how exciting this is. Love it. Okay. Oh, this is so fun. Oh shit. <laughs> oh girl, I almost just died. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't really think this through. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Ta-da! So this is how it turned out, and I'm really liking the way this looks. Usually what you see is people have these like two light stands with a crossbar, and it takes up a lot of floor space, and it wants to tip over, and it's not very steady. It is a little bit cumbersome to change out the rolls of paper, I'm realizing. <laughs> It's actually been a couple of days. I had to do some running around to pick some things up. And um, I'm kind of ready to do like a few like final touches. This wall here, I want to be like a gallery wall. I think it'd be kind of cool because it's like, you know, propped forward. The bedroom is actually quite small and I think a large mirror will open it up. And I don't think it really has a purpose out here right now, so. So, I have them all framed and cleaned. They're very dirty frames. And I think this is the order that I want to do them in. I always just find it so cool seeing like my digital artwork printed onto paper. It just has like a different vibe. I don't know. I put a lot of effort into these. They're all like based on this vintage teacup that I had found at a vintage store. And I just kind of like really went with it. I don't know. I like them.
All right, so that's all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's a bit of a different type of video, but I figured um, it's very much so related to the time that I'm gonna spend here on YouTube with you guys. And I feel like transforming this space hopefully will make me feel a little bit more productive and like I have an actual place to do this kind of a thing. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying making like weird photography art. I know I'm not really posting on Instagram anymore, so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll give an explanation to that at some point. But yeah, that's all I have. I hope you guys liked it. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha.